cannot play that song because I'll get demonetized. Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I have a small confession to make. I actually have never seen The Lion King. Uh, I think I might be one of the very few people on this planet who haven't seen it. <laughs> but who's going to go see the new one? I actually can't wait to see that. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. So today's set was inspired by the new movie coming out. And Kat loves The Lion King. So we just had to do Lion King nails. So today's set is going to be Simba and i am removing cat's old uh, design from her nails so i used a carbide bit to drill away the old shellac and thin down the acrylic which was there down to almost the bare nail and now i'm just using the sanding band and uh, my e-file to smooth over the acrylic that's left behind and then remove the shine off the natural nail as well i also like to remove some of the cuticle that's on the nail plate using the the sanding band bit. After finishing my prep work I'm starting with a ring finger and I'm applying some glitter to the tip uh, to do a glitter fade but then I need to let it dry before I do the uh, cover pink part. So while that dries I've moved on to the pinky finger and I've, I'm using this chocolate brown color to cover the, the entire nail with it. This is a color I mixed and uh, I mixed it on this video here if you want to click on the cards to have a look at how I mix my acrylic colors. So I finished applying the brown acrylic on the pinky and now I'm back to the ring finger applying the cover pink over the glitter in an ombre style. But for some reason because um, I didn't like the way the glitter lost the shine when I ombre the cover pink over it, I wanted to go back and add some more glitter on top of the cover pink just so I can sparkle that little bit more. This way of doing the ombre look will be more effective if the nails are really long so the glitter on the ends actually still remains sparkly rather than being lost in the cover pink. So I had to encapsulate the, uh, the ring finger and now I am encapsulating the pinky finger as well to add some strength and structure to those nails while also sealing in the glitters which I applied on the ring finger. And when I'm done encapsulating the brown coloured acrylic I'm going to move on to the middle finger. This nail is where I'm going to draw Simba on so I'm just doing a plain yellow background for that and uh, I've, I'm using this yellow acrylic which I mixed also myself and applied it basically on the nail nice and thin and I will add some clear encapsulated acrylic onto this as well. I feel also not only does it give the nail strength and structure it also helps with filing and keeping the nail looking smooth because sometimes if you don't encapsulate your colors with clear and you go to file and smooth the nail surface it seems to create some like not water marbling but some shadowing of the acrylic color sometimes not all the time only sometimes and I find using the clear on top helps this. So the pointer finger is entirely yellow as well and for the thumbnail I am doing brown so I'm applying the brown colored acrylic on all the nail keeping it nice and thin because I also want to add some glitter to it. The same glitter which I used on the ring finger and I'm just fading it up towards the cuticle doing a glitter ombre on it and when it's in place and has set up a little bit I'm going to encapsulate this nail as well to seal in all that gorgeous glitter. The glitter I'm using today is from Glitter Heaven Australia and it's the gold chunky hollow glitter. Okay so I finished with all my acrylic work and it's dried and it's ready to move on to the next step and I'm going ahead with my usual filing routine. I use a 80 grit file to shape the free edge of the nail and then I swap over to my sanding band and e-file to smooth over the surface of the nail. And when that's done, I'm just using a lint-free wipe dipped in some acetone and I'm wiping over the nail to get rid of any dust and to smooth over the surface of the nail as well. And then I can start sketching out little Simba. So the image that you see on the mobile phone is the one that Kat chose and I am trying to recreate it on this small little canvas. <laughs> so I'm just using a regular grey lead pencil to sketch out the image onto the nail and basically I, I just draw by looking and translating it onto the surface where I'm at and if I don't like the way it looks I just erase it. Either you can use either um, an eraser or a cotton tip dipped in some acetone to wipe away the grey lead. So when I'm happy with the image that I've drawn I'm outlining the entire image with some black gel polish and I'm using Madame Glam Perfect Black to do this. And when I'm happy with all the lines which I've outlined, I'm going to cure that in my light for a full minute. 
and then wipe away the grey lead with some acetone and a lint free wipe. So now I'm left with a full gel polish outline which I need to fill in with some gel polish colour. I didn't have the exact colour that I wanted so I had to mix a few colours together. So this amber colour I actually mixed together Madame Glam's Make Me Raw and Halo. Uh, it was predominantly Halo with a touch of Make Me Raw to get that colour. And then this yellow part I just used some Halo mixed in with a little bit of white to get that tone. And each time I fill in a colour I flash cure in between just so my colours don't blend in together. For the eyes I'm just using On My Brown and for the nose I used a bit of the Make Me Raw with um, a pink colour which I'm sorry but I didn't take note of what pink it was which I used. So I'm just adding some final details to little Simba. I'm adding his pupils and flash curing that and then I'm going to add a white reflect in his eyes at the end. And once I'm happy with all the colouring which I've added, I'm just redoing the outline and adding some extra fine details as well. Uh, because I feel with all the colouring in that I did, the outline of the drawing sort of disappeared and wasn't as sharp. So I just go over that again. And when I've fully cured my image for the final time, I add a couple of layers of base coat. Now what this does is it levels out any lumps and bumps in your image and then you can top coat it with either matte top coat or uh, glossy top coat, whatever is your preference. Now on a few of the nails I'm going to add some crystals because I love adding some crystals to all my nail art and um, I'm just randomly placing them on trying to make them look I don't know, Lion Kingish, if you'd say. So to secure all my crystals, I'm using a new product called Jewelry Gel, and it's from Miss You Australia. It's just a thicker type of gel which you can stick your stones in, and they don't slide all over the nail. Simba's going to get his final matte top coat, while the rest of the nails are going to get their final glossy no wipe top coat by Madame Glam. All this is going to get cured in my light for one minute, and then this set will be ready for reveal. And here's the finished look my lovelies. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think of this set. If you like this video go ahead and give me a like and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my channel. But be sure to stay tuned because the next set which I will be uploading in the next couple of days is going to be Nala. So if you want to see that set make sure you're subscribed so you get a no notification whenever I upload that video. But in the meantime if you want to watch something else YouTube reckons you're going to enjoy this video next well I reckon you might enjoy this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you next time. Bye!